Hey, what's going on, everybody? Rising Ground Church, Pastor Jamal. I wanted to step in here today, man. Um, uh, I got a little things uh, swirling around in my mind right now, and it's kind of a spur of the moment deal. But that's how I, I do things from most of the time. Um, but this is all about the danger of reason. You know how we how we reason in our mind. We weigh things out. We reason it out. So this is all around really the dangers of what reasoning something out you know can produce but um i was gonna look up the definition but actually i'm using this phone to do it but reason is basically it's an explanation or a justification for something that's one level of it so <clears throat> we have a situation and you know we start to reason it out and um, we we try to explain ourselves explain ourselves into why or what action needs to be taken, or well, we justify an action um, that you know we will either take or we won't take. And you know the dangers of that, especially when we're talking about um, moving or operating in our in, in from the spiritual man from the spiritual self, the the the, the dangers of reasoning a thing. Is first, you know, we got we you understand our reasoning. It, it comes from, it comes from our flesh first. It comes from the um, the physical man, the ego, if if you will. So, um, it's an it's an aspect of the fight or flight deal. So, you know, once you know when generations and years and thousands of years ago. Um, these things were beneficial to us because it kept us safe and it still does and you know in those moments but because it's a big part of our presentation our our uh, the impressions that have been made you know from the way back then and then all of the times that we felt danger even in our present state of life um, it kicks in it's always there we reason by uh, our social consciousness. We have um, structures set up that, or systems that um, are in place for a specific thing. And we reason by way of those things. We reason by a lot of things, but the danger of reason, especially when it comes to operating from surrender or divine flow um, or being led by the spirit of God, just a spiritual person is dangerous because it doesn't allow you the space for the greater perspective of God to really show up faith. It doesn't allow you really to operate in faith. So I, I kind of put three tips. I kind of said a few of them already, but uh, number one, again, um, reason needs an explanation or a justification for an action. Whatever God is telling you to do, whatever you hear to do, whatever you're, you are being guided or you feel passionate about or you feel tugged in an area, um, especially when it's unknown, uh, the reason will require you a justification or an explanation of either why it will work or why it won't work, um, why you should do it or why you shouldn't do it. And these things never promote God. They never promote how God does a thing. And we're always connected to, to spirit, to God, to the God stuff, because it's out of the invisible that the visible was made. So you're never, ever going to be separated from what you have to do God's way, per se. I hope that makes sense. Second, reason seeks motive or grounds to do something it's danger too it seeks a motive again it's an explanation it's a justification it seeks grounds it seeks logical grounds and that's another key in this thing um you know all of the experiences that we have as men as man mankind um we have uh, been conditioned to have grounds based on that side so the physical side needs these grounds to feel comfortable in. Now, the spiritual side is a spiritual side. Remember, it acts on faith. It acts on the unseen, the unknown. And yet, but there's still the great thing about God is, is there there's still a sign inside. There's still something that is tugging you 
uh, whether it's the still small voice, whatever, whatever it is, there's always something there from the spirit as well. But since we operate most of our life in the physical, in the, in the physical stance, we look for physical examples. We look to connect with social consciousness, with man's consciousness, because this is how man did it, and they had a seeming success. So the, this is how we think we have to do it. So we bypass our natural state of spirit and go into reasoning and looking we look again we look for for grounds to do it and we look for motive the next one is reasoning causes a person to potentially go into what well, fight or flight mode um we go into defense so the dangers of going into defense um it always causes us to go into resistance so anytime we're in a defensive mode we, we're going contrary and we're going backwards to the way that God operates. God is, is love, it's peace, it's gentleness, it's kindness, it's meekness. It's a smooth surface. Whether you're going into rough waters or not, God is still that way. But when we are on the defensive, then we start to break down, we separate from God, which then causes us um, to not be able to hear. We can't hear. We, we don't know which way to go. And then you go into all kinds of chaos pathways. So I wanted to come in here, man, just to kind of talk about reason just briefly, because I'm personally going through something right now that I have to make a decision on. And I'm not um, I haven't been comfortable, I, I've, but I've realized why I, I, I realized I have, you know, doing some little work over the last hour. I realized, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm thinking. This is where I'm at. And because I know that right now, because I can see that, then I'm able to um, measure correctly against the spirit versus my ego or what my flesh is trying to do. But again, reason has its dangers. It has its benefits, but it has to be connected with divine flow. It has to be connected to what God and where God is taking you in order for it to be a benefit. In most cases, it's a danger because we're so used to operating this way, you know, according to the, you know, to the world that we live in. You know, the Bible says that we are in the world, but we're not of the world. That has a lot of different facets to it. A lot of different levels um the best place is always divine flow it's always a space of positive momentum of of peace and uh surrender and god will show you what you have to do rising ground church pastor jamal talk to you